Carly as Carly mentioned, Barrel made landfall around four this morning, right over Matagorda Bay. Yeah, three news reporter Bill Churchwell joins us live with conditions. Uh, Bill, are you on your way to Palacios? Where are you right now? That's exactly right. We're on the road right now, taking our time to get to Palacios. Uh, if I'm saying that correctly, I know there's a couple of different ways to say the name of the city, but we're just a couple of miles away now, but you can see the driving conditions we're experiencing as those winds pick up, as the rain picks up, as we get closer to uh, you know the center of this storm. But you can see we are keeping track of the storm on our GPS here. We have our uh, 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 map that is uh, giving us an idea of uh, what we are headed into. Of course, we have seen not a lot of obstacles on the roadway. We are taking it slow for our own safety. But again, you can see that just the sheets, I keep saying the sheets of rain uh, along the roadway. We did see a transformer blow behind us and, and spark up. So we are aware of that as well. But uh, we hope to bring you our next report coming up in the next city. Now, uh, where we are headed, there is uh, there are power outages to talk about. Wow, take a look at that rain coming down. You can barely see. So I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and take our time on the roadway here and send it back to you guys. And Bill, we're accustomed to driving in windy conditions here in Corpus Christi. Is it uh, windier than what you're used to? You are feeling those uh, those bands come through and kind of shaking the car. Yeah, that's right. We are feeling the effects of the winds. Every once in a while, we'll get a pretty strong wind gust, and you can feel it hit the car. Now, our photographer, Jeremy Landers, he's with me right now, and he actually just got off the phone with Ricky Daly with TechStot. And Jeremy, what was the update? Uh, yeah, TechStot says that uh, the Coast Guard is allowing them to open the uh, resume services at the Port Aransas Ferry at 6 a.m., so that's... Um, just four happened. minutes ago, yep. so it just happened. So they've opened up uh, the, the ferry that's uh, going to be running today. There you go. There's an update from TechStot about the ferry opening this morning. So definitely a good news for folks there in the coastal bend uh, who take that ferry between Port A and, of course, Aransas Pass. But again, we are on the road headed to our next city, getting a little bit closer to the storm, and we're going to go ahead and send it back to you. Yes, Bill, Sir, be safe. I do, oh. I do have a question, Bill. Any road closures that you've seen so far on your way? Not yet. Uh, on the map headed over here to uh, Port Lavaca area, the, the map outlined that there was a road closure, but uh, no road closures as of now that we've seen. But again, you know, uh, we have seen some of those obstacles on the roadway, like tree branches and, and things of that nature. All right, Bill, please be careful, you and Jeremy. I'm glad that he mentioned that Jeremy was with him because if you first see, you're going to think, is Bill driving, driving and he's <laughs> on with them? No. That's the thing, guys. Don't be afraid safe. to pull over if you need to if it gets too windy because you, know, you are getting closer to uh, the eye there, and it does look like there's a car or somebody that might be on the side of the road there. Uh, be safe. Uh, we're driving in it, so you do not have to.